Well, here we are. It is the 23rd of June and we are in Edinburgh, Scotland. We've made it. This is the Royal Mile that everybody talks about the history and everything like that. Let's take a look. We're here. We've got a full day tomorrow to do something and we're going to do... This is way better than London. Way better. Even just coming from the airport to here was amazing. We're looking forward to this one. Yes. On this trip, I keep forgetting I have a camera. This is Edinburgh Castle, high up on the rock. That is an amazing castle. We were just in there for six hours. The William Wallace Monument. The tallest monument to any non-religious figure in all of the UK at 238 feet. So Bill and his buddy just sat out here for a few days looking over Stirling Castle in the distance and wondering on how they could breach the defenses and take down the English. And then his buddy had an idea. And he thought, yeah, let's get all the English soldiers in their heavy armor and their war horses onto the wooden bridge down there, which we can't see from here, and I don't know whether he could see it or not or either. And then we'll charge them and freak out the horses and the whole thing will collapse. And so it did. And that's how they won the Battle of Stirling. Here we are just about to enter the Highlands, and this is Hamish. The sexy Highlander. As you can see, the landscape is beginning to change. As we enter the Highlands. It's a big cow. How much? Before he was down, and now he's up. This is Glencoe, and we're going for a walk. We are in Glenfinch, walking up towards the Harry Potter Bridge. Actually, we were just at the site where Bonnie Prince Chalich raised his standard to collect forces to head down to defeat or battle with the English. That was back there. Now we're going up there. Woo woo! Hi. <laughs> so, what do you think of this Highland trip so far? Yes. Mm hmm. Yeah. That's the Harry Potter bridge out there. Yeah. It kind of makes you want to go and see Harry Potter again, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. And, as I mentioned earlier, down there is a loch or a lake. Mm -hmm. And that is where Bonnie Prince Charlie mm -hmm. came up and rallied the standard to collect the Scots so that they could go on down to fight the English. And that was in 1745, just before Culloden, where they all got slaughtered, and that was the end of um, yeah, freedom for Scotland. Beautiful, though, isn't it? Amazing. Yes, it's a wonderful place. This is Urquhart Castle. It was the stronghold of Robert the Bruce and the only castle on Loch Ness. It was also used in the Jacobite uprising. 
It's a very windy day today and we are up on the crags above Edinburgh looking out at the city getting a last hike and a geocache of this area before we go home. But as you can see the castle is in the distance there and if we continue to the right down the Royal Mile you can see Holyrood Palace right there. And we are going to go down this path now because we got the geocache and go down to the palace. Alright, so see you later from Edinburgh.